Floyd House Flicks. Happy Friday. And welcome to the physical commute number 20. Doodle do do to you too. So yo guys, uh thank you for coming to the physical media commute season two, episode twenty. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. You know, the usual YouTube Hollywood, you know. Thank you for your support. And let's get this algorithm jiving so I can get in where I fit in. Thank you again. So how about that uh, movie battle last night? Floyd House Flicks, movies with Ryan and the Ben Buster. Special shout out to the Bim Buster. Thank you for beating us both. Ryan and I came in on a tie for second place. And uh, it was very humbling. Oh no, it's what's going on. Very humbling. But uh, still had fun, it was a blast. Uh, thank you 4K D-Ray for doing what it is you do and you do so well. I must give you props, good sir. You are definitely the man. As far as what it is you do. Movie there's movies with Ryan. There he is. We got robbed. Ah the fix was in. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. We had we had fun. I would have been happy with a three-way tie. And uh then whatever. We, we, it was good. It was good. I'm glad we got to do that. Um, now, now that that's over, we can talk more about these uh, physical media foolishnesses. And for the record, um, Ryan and I had a, 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 a conversation last night about vinyl. You know, people seem to forget that vinyl is also physical media. Um, I collect certain types of vinyl. I'm not. You know, like a, an audio file or a vinyl whore, so to speak. You know, I like my audio. I like my turntable. Um, I do appreciate some vinyl. But primarily, I collect, like, old-school hip-hop and um, Prince. I'm a gigantic Prince fan. Prince fan all day, every day. And um, I got to show some of my box sets and sign of the times things like that um sign of the times uh the welcome to america things like that and the pretty pretty good setups but those are the final pieces that i have um i have to go home and put away the movies that i took out last night <laughs> for the battle they're still sitting in my uh my cave, so I gotta carry them back out and put them back on the shelves um, and get ready for the new batch. I know what I'm supposed to be expecting. I'm expecting some things from Deep Discount. Um, they should be here next week, though. Um, the two orders that I talked about last time I was here, which was uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Lady Whiplash, the new Arrow Video martial arts film. Double Jeopardy, uh, Groundhog's Day, uh, you know, I had two more with the Groundhog's Day order, but just trying to remember this stuff is enough to give you a goddamn headache, but you know, you figure it out, right, Dragons Forever, man, see, what would I do without my man Holland Oaks? Yeah, the lady, 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 uh, whiplash, the kid, the keto. Um, and that was kind of a, I, I think that was kind of a blind buy for me, which I sort of said that I wasn't going to do any more blind buying. But, um, it's kind of, you know, you got to kind of keep it moving because there's a lot of movies out there that I don't think I'd ever heard of. And I'm a big martial arts fan, so, you know, I got to kind of have it in the collection. You just got yours the other day. 
Um, I don't know that I've ever seen it. I don't know that I've ever seen it. Um, I still, I still am trying to, I still have to open up my friggin' um, Shawscope Volume 2. I haven't opened it yet. And I feel shamed. I feel very shamed. I wonder if they've been talking about Shawscope Volume 3. Because if you remember when Volume 1 came out, they pretty much were talking about the day it came out. So I need to uh, find out if they're talking about Volume 3 because I'm excited about that as well. Um, flying Guillotine. I need Flying Guillotine. Not Flying Guillotine Part 2. Flying Guillotine. English dub, Ryan. I need that. I need that. And Ryan is not a fan of the dubbed films. The English dubbed martial arts films. Not a fan. You know, everybody's got their preferences and that's fine. But I grew up on those dubs. They were fun to me. And um, I enjoy it when I have the option. I think it was that um, Once Upon a Time in America Criterion set. Wasn't it Criterion? I am not. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it the Criterion set that um, it was just uh, Mandarin and um, no English dub, which was annoying to me. I'm like, no, yeah, man, give me my dub. I like my dub. I like my dub. And then the Bruce Lee box set came out, the Criterion Bruce Lee box with English dub. What the hell? Why not? You know, you're not hurting anybody. In fact, you're helping people. So then there's that. For people that don't like to read. <laughs> Shawscope is not going to be all martial arts. There might be some of the... Oh, okay. So some of the regular movies they've done. Well, then you're going to have to skip. They're going to have to put some heat in that volume three for people to pick it up. Because at the price point, right now, at the price point, you can't beat it. If there's like half martial arts and half of, you know, their other work, then I don't know. Price got to be right or it ain't going to fly. It ain't going to fly. So... I'm just more curious than anything to see what they put out. But yeah, I need my flying guillotine. I pretty much got Kid with the Golden Arms. Got, um, give me some titles, Ryan. Uh, Kid with the Golden Arms, a Drunken Master, Drunken Master 2, um, all the Poison Clan movies, um, uh, the Gordon Liu stuff, 36 Chambers, all that. What up, culture, culture, culture? What's good, homie? Um, what else? Um, what else is there? I know there's a bunch of martial arts movies from like the early, well, the earlier stuff. Well, no, matter of fact, you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for more of the Jet Li stuff to come out. More of the Jet Li stuff to come out because I need, I totally need, um, I, I said this before. I need um, Tai Chi Master. I need uh, Legend. The Legend. I need. Um, there's a movie called High Risk. But he's kind of making fun of Jackie Chan. Um, I need those. I really need those. They need to do like a nice. Somebody needs to do a nice Blu ray box. Maybe even a 4K box for Jet Li. That would be dope. I don't know who, and personally, I don't care. The 88 films, Arrow, whatever you're gonna do, you guys need to get that going because Jack, Jack, Jet Li does not get hardly enough love these days. Jackie Chan is getting all these things out, with police story and all that stuff, and 15, 15, 11 Bruce Lee into the dragon boxes, and where's the Jet Li stuff? I hope so. 
it says maybe Jet, maybe uh, Shout will put them out because they're putting all the Jet Li, Jackie Chan stuff out. Maybe they'll put out the Jet Li stuff. I hope so. Because I am missing that. You know what? I haven't even opened up my Showa era and the high era camera sets. I need to get into that too. Um, I haven't wa I haven't watched any of my Showa era Godzillas. So weird. I wanted that thing so bad, but it seems more to be it seems to be more of a display piece than something I've actually watched. And that's the deal with a lot of my collection. Some of it is just some of, some of these pieces are just for show. Unintentionally, but just for the show. So I need to step that up. Stop buying. That's why that's why I'm slowing down. I'm slowing back down. And um, you know, it is, um, in all honesty, full disclosure. I say I'm slowing down, but we're only in the month of January, and I think I've already bought like ten movies. Let's see. What was it? Seven? Nope. It's six. Six from Deep Discount. Um, six from Deep Discount. Two from Amazon. That's eight. Um, one from eBay. It's nine. Yeah, I'm pretty much like ten movies in because of that. Um, I'm slowing down until uh, Terracotta, Terracotta Distribution just ordered six titles. I mean... You know, I'm actually starting to feel the pinch. I'm feeling the pinch. I'm feeling the pinch. It's like every time I turn around, there's something I need to get, I need to get, I need to get. And I got to look at the wife and go, I ordered movies. She's like, you ordered more movies? <laughs> she's not fussing with me, but she's just like, come on, man. I can't help it. I'm sick, bird. I'm sick. Oh, and friggin' look, um, well, I guess it still counts, but it comes out next week. Friggin' belly. I'm a kid. I, I ordered two of those bellies, too. I'm gonna cancel one of them. I think it's really not. It's yeah, thanks for laughing at the end because you know better. It's totally not. It's a stupid self indulgence, and we can't help ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's a self-indulgence you know the people around us they try to like uh, humor us act like they care they don't care they do not care man they don't care one movie so far this year Forever Dragons 88 film yep. I'm waiting for mine I don't even know that I've ever seen it and see they're going to put out Twin Dragons, and I want that too, the Jackie Chan movie. I want that. I think I, would, I think it would be funny if they put out a, um, a Kung Fu Hustle and a Shaolin Soccer 4K set. They need to do that. See, movies like that, movies like that, I'll get. And it's like, I have no choice. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. Um, I, I martial arts films and stuff like that. They they'll they'll get me almost every time. And everything else is gonna have to piecemeal me in between, like little bits and pieces. Like uh, the the one thing that I know that a lot of people jumped on. Well, they they got it was that Cloverfield Steelbook and I refuse to buy the Cloverfield Steelbook simply because I already have the Cloverfield 4K and it was, I think I paid $12 for it. $12 for that and the Steelbook is like $18. Oh, wow. 
even for the sake of having a steel book, I'm like, oh, I just can't. I can't justify it. I can't justify it. But if they start putting out martial arts films, steel book stuff, stuff like that, without having to go outside of the United States, I'll probably get some of that stuff. But as soon as I get a chance to buy some martial arts movies, I'm in. Count me in. Uh, and I, the, for the for the sake of uh, for the for the goodness, I'll say of these uh, Shaw scope boxes, it covered a lot of bases. So there's a lot of movies that you know I probably never would have gotten if it wasn't for those sets. So I appreciate that. Um, <sighs> long day. So yeah, that's kind of my thing. What up, Jerry? Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning toward. Um, I always say this. It's not. Yeah. You know, I got a bunch of movies in the closet that I'm like going to start listing these movies and items on um, Marketplace on Facebook and like in lots. I need to get rid of this stuff that's sitting in my closet and taking up space. I, I need my space back. Um, I'll sell my collection right now to someone if someone gave me what I want. What you want? What you want, Jerry? It's, it's, it, it, you know, the funny part about it is I've been purging bit by bit, but then replacing it with other stuff. Like, uh, is, is that considered a purge? If you're buying this and replacing it with a better version of that <laughs> I don't quite think that's a purge um, I, I haven't really cleared out you know the DVDs have taken up a lot of my space DVDs have taken up a lot of my space purged about 60 titles last month to make room for more curated stuff um, I have in my closet there's probably shit. There's probably at least 500 movies in my fucking closet. Just in the closet right now. This is not including anything to do with um, uh, purging. This is just stuff that I upgraded and things like that. And, and you guys may remember when I came home that day with like 80 movies in a box. Um, some of those were things that I wanted. Some of those are things that I didn't need. And some of those things were just DVDs and the Blu-rays were gone. You know, so it's like I have a bunch of things that I don't need. So at some point or another, I got to, I got to get rid of them. So I think the purge is going to start there. Because I got to get this stuff out of here. It's like really taking up space in my house and in my head taking the half price books you know half price books is a freaking rip off half price books is the fucking uh, game stop for movies it's terrible 15k hit me up 15k hit you up for what what you want fit you up I'm gonna hit you up for I ain't hit you up think I want more shit? Sorry. What up, Del? What's good with you, man? I do not want more movies. Well, I do not want more movies that I already have. Well, I don't want any more duplicates. I had it. I'm always... I don't want it. God damn it. Jerry. <laughs> Here's another place out there. Mr. Nichols usually gets a good amount. Well, I'll never know about it. Uh, sell the closet, the closest movies, and buy. Sell the closet movies and buy more movies. 
I don't. Uh, guys, you're not helping me, man. Love you, man. You're not helping me. I try to. I'm trying to make it all make sense. Um, maybe I will all go to Hadis Books. I don't know, but sometimes it just seems like this is going to give you pennies. Oh, well, this is this. Got like four copies of They Live. I'm tired of rebuys. They Live. Everybody's going ape shit over that steel book. It's like, oh my god, They Live steel book. Yeah, get it. I don't want it. I mean, even if I wanted it, I'm not gonna buy it because I don't want it. It don't make sense. People are going crazy over it. I bet bad. For... <sighs> Excuse me. I'm not saying they're crazy for going crazy over it because you know the you know the addiction is real. But I'm not. No, nah, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't think there's too many um, things like that. You know what? I honestly, you know what I want. What I want, but I'm I don't think I'm gonna buy it. But I want it. I want the. Um, Paranorman steelbook and the uh, Coraline steelbook. I ain't gonna lie. I want those. I ain't gonna buy them. But I think I do want them. And I want them for the for legitimate reasons. I want them because I actually like the movies. Those movies are good. If I get those, I will actually watch them. How about that? I would actually watch those two movies. Mm, shit. These cars are out here like it's Friday or something. You're gonna have some doubles. Yep. I think we all do. We all do. Um, I think maybe I'll go to, I don't know. I'll, I'll just start looking up places, uh, best prices and things like that. Quadruples in some case, right, Jerry? I can dig it. I think I'm going to go look up some places that actually buy movies outside of like pawn shops and things like that. Because I know pawn shops don't give me shit. And they wind up selling for close. That's why I, I saw somebody go into half price books with a box of movies and they came out angry and came out with most of the movies. That was kind of shitty because, you know, like back in the day with GameStop, they will give you uh, uh, weird how some people actually watch what they collect. I know, isn't that something? Who are those people? Who are those people? I know we're not those people. You know, we buy stuff again. This is this is what I was talking about in one of my other videos. We buy stuff because we see it and we are visually stimulated by it and we buy it so we can have it on ourselves. Because somebody else got it on their show. Watch all our our comrades in in physical media with their wonderful shelves and terrific box sets and what do you call it, one clicks and all of this stuff like that I got to have a one click we were talking about that last night I'm going to get the one click I, had, I don't have a one click and I don't this, this is not a knock for any knock to anyone who buys those types of things I just think they're it's, you're, it's, it's a lot of money it's a lot of money it is, let me, one more time, it is a lot of money to pay for a movie. Uh, in some cases, it's, you, know, you, you would think this car is like literally right next to me. This car is like not even nowhere. I can't even see this car. Loud, loud, loud. Anyways. Um, it's like, what's that? The Pet Cemetery one click going for X amount of big dollars. It's kind of weird. It's like you're doing too much and charging too much for a movie that was good but not worth a hundred and something dollars. 
or two hundred and something dollars. No, no, wasn't that good? Yeah, but it comes in two different versions or three different. Yeah, still. No, sir. No, sir. Not gonna do that. But you know, um, salute to anyone that does. Like I said, you know, you can't tell people how to spend their money. That's absurd. That is absurd. It's just some people spend their money better than others. Because people want to show out. Look what I got. Oh, look what I got. That's what we do. <laughs> it's the elite nature of physical media collection collecting. You get this uh, thing about yourself. You just want to show off. I guess that's what we was doing last night-ish. Ish. Talking about physical media battles and all these things like that. You know, we're showing out. We're flowing. We're showing our wares. Show me your wares. But the good thing about those types of things is it, it's, it creates camaraderie. It creates um, community. And I'm all for that. That's, that's, to me, that's dope. So bring more of those types of things on physical media movie movie battles and all that type of stuff like that so other than that I mean it's just you know I don't know I don't know I'm really starting to feel like a curmudgeon when it comes to these videos it's like I'm just sitting there complaining I don't mean to I'm sorry I'm just saying I sold all my one clicks when I decided to get out of the steelbook game. I still have about two or three or four. I don't have any. Honestly, I don't even know. I've seen them. Like, the little. Uh, uh, I just can't bring myself to do it. Uh. And I put a box of 4Ks up on offer up. And I just put the whole box up. And you know, the whole one dollar and hit me up, let me know, and then you get I'm getting low balled to death by people and people ask me, how much is this? I'll tell them how much it is, they never get back. I put a I have a whole bunch of movies up on offer up, and then after a while I just stop putting them. So people are drag trying to, you know, do something, get this stuff going and Let's give it. Just sit here. I am torrid. Go home, take a shower, and take a goddamn. I might take a goddamn nap. <laughs> Put a movie on, let it play in the background, and drift off. Go to sleep. Not for the day, but you know. Remember you as a kid and like kindergarten, you had to take nap time? I need a nap. Put them on eBay. Put them on eBay when they sell. They sell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I used to do eBay quite a bit. I used to, I used to do eBay quite a bit. Um, I just, the, the offer up thing is easier for me in a sense because I don't do any shipping. They just come to me and I give them to them and that's the end of that. <sighs> Jerry is really trying to get out the game. Jerry is trying to get out the game. He's trying to sell anybody his collection. Ugh. Excuse me. Yep, but um, yeah, we're gonna wrap up this very enjoyable, very communicative, and uh, fun physical media commute. Thank you, Jerry, Trini, Ryan, Culture, all the notes, you know, everybody that comes in these chats. 
I really appreciate you all. I don't. I hope I haven't forgot anyone. Anyway. I don't think I did, but if I did, I apologize. But thank you so very much for coming and hanging out for a bit. You know, riding with me on these physical media commutes. Physical media commute number twenty-one will be on Monday. And Monday's a good day for me, so. Physical Media Commute 21 on Monday. I will see you guys then. And we'll chop it up. Maybe I'll have more movies that I shouldn't have more movies of. Who knows? But you know how it is. The sickness is real. All right, Floyd House Flicks. I'm in the building. I'm out the building. I'm going to holler at y'all later. 100. Hey.